Hey guys, it's me Desiree Marie and I'm back here today. Um like guys, all right. So, you guys have been seeing me rocking this hair for a very long time. <laughs> Bless you, Twinkie. <laughs> it's my dog. <laughs> and um yeah, I've been rocking this hairstyle for a few months now, actually. And it has been my go-to protective style um i really have been enjoying this style because it really is versatile it helps me to um keep my hair out of the way not really bother too much with my hair simply moisturize and go uh, which is the same thing that i would do normally with my hair anyway um but yeah this hair this hair allows me to do the different hairstyles that i like I love long hair, so it gives me the option of having long hair. But guys, it is time to get rid of the hair for now. Just for now. Because I need to wash my hair. <laughs> so I know you guys are like, it's about damn time, girl. Like, when were you going to take that thing out your head? <laughs> I know, guys. I know. And I'm sure a lot of you probably have been losing faith in me and my lock journey. But no, guys. Hello. <laughs> Guys, you can't be that quick to, to give up on me. To give up on me or anyone. <laughs> so, what I'm doing right now, as you can see, is I am taking down this hairstyle because now that I'm in the gym, I'm sweating a lot and I want to make sure to have a clean scalp. I also miss my locks. I do miss my locks a whole lot. Um, I've been seeing people with, you know, with their baby locks and stuff and you know I'm like ah, let me just let me see my hair again <laughs> and guys ooh, it, it does need some cleaning of course but um yeah that's what I was expecting um, tonight I do want to wash it and whenever I wash my hair it never takes that long anyway so it's no problem for me so yeah guys, I just wanted to come sit down and chit chat I guess with you guys. Um, one thing that I was thinking of talking about was um, since Valentine's Day is coming up, I wanted to have like a kind of chit chat Valentine's Day um, chit chat with you guys. Ooh, looks like it got longer. Ah, Yeah, I have a Valentine's chit chat with you guys and girls. Um, yeah, so how are you guys enjoying, or how are you going to enjoy your Valentine's Day? Are you booed up? What do you plan on doing? Um, for me, I don't know what Valentine's Day has in store for me, as I am dating, but I am not exactly in a relationship, so it is a little, like, like, uh, you know, not really sure what those plans, I mean, I have gotten the um, question, will you, you know, well, not really a question but like you're my valentine like <laughs> but um oh i didn't even that reminds me i never even answered that back again <laughs> but um i have been getting some you know prospects and stuff some um future dates thrown here and there but i don't really know um what this week has in store because this is valentine's week this is valentine's week and Valentine's Day is on Wednesday. But I feel like we, we women, <laughs> and it's very natural because we are nurturers. We love love. We want to love. We want to care. We want to feel genuinely loved and, and wanted and stuff. Um, but I feel like we really put a lot of emphasis on this day. Even though, like, if you look up valentine's day um you will see that valentine's this this you know valentine's has nothing to do with um what we celebrate it as it's pretty much a commercial holiday but we as women who love the concept of love and the idea of love we put a lot of stress and emphasis on this day and so <laughs> the country thrives off of our like desire to get gifts or give gifts on this day um which is you know i love i love valentine's day 
I love it, you know, when I have things to do. Um, it is just another day, but I feel like we put a lot of emphasis on it because um, society, social media, guys, you already know social media is putting the weights on us like these days. Um, but yeah, we, we, we more think of this day as a day of love for those that have someone significant in their lives. And then that leads a, a lot of us to feel um, discouraged around this time when we are not in a, re a real secure relationship. Like me, I'm dating, yes, but I'm not in a secure relationship. Um, dating is when you're just gathering facts <laughs> you're not in any kind of commitment you're just gathering facts and you're getting to know people as you know as you have the opportunity to but um, yeah <laughs> so um, Valentine's Day what does it have in store for me I have absolutely no clue it is on a Wednesday which is like pretty much a weekday I don't know. I don't know if maybe I'll be like taken out on a surprise date or if I'll end up in the gym. <laughs> Who knows what the day has in store, but all I know is I'm going to enjoy it in the best way possible. Or maybe I'll spend it with Twinkie. <laughs> Get her a little um, pet treat and spend Valentine's Day with my Twinkie. No, that does not sound pathetic. Somebody out there was like, that's not pathetic. No, no. <laughs> right, Twinkie? No, it's absolutely fine. And you know what? Um, when, when I was single for like four years after um, the breakup of my engagement, that was years ago, guys. Um, I was single for a long time and I had to get through days like this. And I feel like I was a whole lot stronger as a single as a single adult than now. Like I feel like now I'm trying to draw strength from that person I was before when I was single for so long. And now that I'm actually like, I recently was in a, a long-term relationship and now I'm getting prospects. It's kind of hard, a little bit more hard for me to feel, um, for me to, uh, feel more settled as single because of the fact that I got, I have the opportunity of being in a relationship. I had it and you know, those years of singleness was taken from me after having been in a relationship. So it kind of like opens up a whole new like desire to be, you know, with someone again. And I feel like when I was single for four years, I really, um, I, I wasn't 100% the, the strongest, you know, single out there, um, but I did find, um, I, I, I was a lot more stronger to kind of get through um, my singlehood. Um, yeah, and I, I would do the things that I'm trying to do right now, which is take myself out and spend time with my family, um, invest my time with my friends. Um, and stuff like that. So, being single <laughs> does not have to be a curse. It can be a blessing. Um, this Valentine's Day, I'm thinking if I don't have any plans, because guys, I don't have any set plans. Like, people just talk, but you just never know. Um, so, I'm thinking that even if I, I, I'm not being taken out on a date and swept away, swept off my feet and whatnot, um, I will do something that I love and that could be anything that could be going yeah either way I'm going to make the best out of the day whether that be go to the gym and take a studio class or come back home and spend time with my dog um, I'll be intentional about that you know about that time and be, be very intentional in being grateful. I feel like gratitude is the cure for most of our issues that we deal with. Um, 
when we are grateful for where we are in life, we have no time to feel discouraged or discontent in where we are, whether that it would be single or, you know, wherever you are in your relationship status. Like, if we're grateful for where we are right now, there's no way that we have time to compare ourselves and feel down in the dumps and stuff like that. I have to constantly remind myself to be grateful for where I am in, in life right now. I have to constantly remind myself, look Desiree, look at what God has done for you. He has done so many things for you. You've been praying for, you know, you, things that you were praying for a while concerning. He is doing it for you. Like, you are literally living in a blessing right now. And you really have no time to be comparing yourself to anyone on Instagram, to any of your friends on social media who, yes, they have, you know, they're, they're married, they have families, they're thriving, you know, in their careers, and they're, they're growing. Um, you have no time to be comparing yourself because your journey is your journey. I have to remind myself that I know these things. I know them very much, and I know that you probably know these things. You've heard, you've heard the the inspirational quotes. You've seen it all over the internet. You you know these things. We we're not stupid. <laughs> we know what we should what we should do, um, but sometimes it's difficult. Um, for me, I've been more intentional on staying away from, staying off of social media as much. I mean, I do go on, um, but I don't spend all my time on, on there. Namely, Instagram. <laughs> for me, images are very um, powerful because I am very visual and I am a creative and I have a large imagination. So, um... Instagram is a blessing and it is a curse for me because it's a blessing because I enjoy um, sharing like you know cool visual things that I'm working on um, I enjoy seeing my friends prosper I love you know I, I'm not a hater but it is a curse when you are not in when you don't feel so great about yourself at the moment and you see everybody else kind of thriving in ways that you've been like wondering when it'll happen for you so i feel like if you today are like a little down about be being single um this valentine's day or even just in life in general um being grateful is a great practice like having gratitude and um staying away from uh toxic environments that could be social media right now like if you find yourself scrolling on social media all day or a lot of the times of your day um you you are inevitably allowing you know the things that you see to kind of like cause you to think differently um and you may not know sometimes i don't even know um, until later on when I start feeling types of ways and I'm like wait why am I feeling this way why am I feeling discontented why am I feeling like I'll never get to this spot in life it's because I I internalized the things that I saw online I internalized that oh she so and so is doing so much better in life why can't I ever get there and then I start thinking about how God has forgotten about me. Then I start feeling sometimes a, some types of way about myself and about life. And it's like, no, no, no. Sometimes you just have to think back to the root of why you're thinking the way you're thinking. And sometimes it does stem <laughs> back to social media and the images that we allow to see in our um, everyday life, you know. You could be just, you know, hanging out chilling on your commute on the way to work scrolling and not realizing that you could be kind of like negatively affecting your your mood your morning you know for some of us we wake right up and watch and look at instagram or youtube and you know early in the morning we start the cycle when um that's not always the best thing to do. Not saying that social media is bad, but I'm just saying like 
if you are the type of person that you know, you know yourself and you know for real that you are not exactly happy with yourself right now and you are prone to comparison, I would say take a break from social media or at least don't log in as much. I did hear of an app, I don't know the app, but there's an app that tracks your social media use all day, how long you stay on social media and it will indicate um, all the time that you spend on there and how you could be so much more productive doing using that time doing something else so that's just my little spiel about social media um yeah i mean i i intentionally you know take myself off of there so i, I don't compare sometimes i feel like we go on there just to kind of show off a little bit like I mean, I'm all about like, you know, just having fun using the internet as the fun tool that it is. But sometimes I feel like um, a lot of the time, like my peers, we just go on there to kind of show off like where we're at at the moment, what we're eating, what we're wearing. And it's like, okay, like at, one, at what point do we really look vain? <laughs> just going on there just to be showing off, just to be heard or something, you know? Um, yeah. And it's the same with YouTube, guys. I, I was just actually watching a, uh, watching a YouTuber. I'm getting that excited because I just, I'm so excited that I thought about this, but I was watching a YouTuber um, not too long ago. This is an example of when you need to cut things off. So I was watching her, she's a very popular YouTuber. I was watching her and I already know, like every time I watch her, I do feel like, dang, like why can't I go shopping? <laughs> she's always shopping, she's always doing this and that. She's, you know, so I took, you know, took it anyway and decided that I would watch her and see what's up with her life. And um, honestly, I don't, I don't relate to her. Um, I don't relate to her because I guess she's just in a different place than me and that's okay. I'm not a person that's like, oh, I can't deal, I can't associate with you because you're not like me. No, I, I'm very all-inclusive. I will hang and chill with everybody, watch everybody's vlogs. But because I started to feel some type of way creep up inside of me like, Dang, I want to I wanna shop all the time. Dang, I want to be taken out on a date. Dang, I want to look pretty all the time like her. I had to say, you know what, Desiree? You do not, um, you do not relate to this person. And actually, this person is making you... Well, you know what? It's not even the person. But it's me. <laughs> um, and my discontent... Um, attach, uh, seeing this person stirred up discontent in me and I cut off the TV right away like I was like you know what no girl bye <laughs> I just had to say girl bye girl bye to the TV and myself because I don't have time to be sitting around comparing myself for what for what we are all we all are on different journeys and Khadijah, I know she's probably watching this now, but she even told me this too. Like, we all are on our different paths. God has created us in different ways for different reasons. And no, we don't know everything there is to know about why we're going through the things we are now. But in the long run, you'll realize, okay, that's why God had me on this journey of singleness you know since we're talking about singleness that's why I had to be single all these years because God had to show me more about myself blah 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 for me I know that I'm still single because God wants to show me more about me and him um <clears throat> but you know learn more about myself and how to stand up on my own two feet you know as you guys know I just recently moved out of my mom's house so there's still more to learn about me. I just moved out and for the first time in my life, I am responsible for only me. I'm not responsible for my younger siblings. I'm not responsible for anyone else but Twinkie <laughs> and myself. And um, in, 
in you know this responsibility for myself I also get the opportunity to learn more about myself and to grow um, so it's all about perspective and how you see like how you see your life where it is right now so if you are in like, my shoes and you're single as well you can look at this as an opportunity to get to know who you are to relearn who you are if you were in a relationship if you were in a marriage and it didn't work and you're back to being single you can take this time to rediscover who you are maybe reinvent yourself for me um this year 2018 i said you know what this is the year that I will put myself first and I will rebrand myself. Rebranding meaning mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, like rebranding. Um, rebranding and for, you know, if you guys have been watching me this far, you see that I've been in the gym. That's a way of rebranding myself and putting, putting value into myself. Um, raising up my value. <laughs> Um, taking better care of myself physically um, you know I could be doing a whole lot better as far as eating but taking better care of myself um, going to the gym uh, reading more books that help me to think and live better you know um, reading the Bible praying more um, so those are some goals for me this year, which are all in mostly internal goals. Um, but yeah, I just say that to say that you can use this time to rediscover yourself, get to know you, love yourself, which is one of my biggest um, goals for this year, to love myself in a different way, in a whole different, totally great way. Um, so you can learn to love yourself the way that you are so desperately, maybe not desperately, but so desiring someone to come and love you. You can love you um, first. <laughs> like I, I say, I want to have first dibs on loving myself before anyone else does. Before anyone else tells me that I look great on a certain day, I would already say, girl, you look good. Let's go. <laughs> and no that I look good because I had first dibs on telling myself, on complimenting myself and bigging up myself and feeling good about myself despite where I am. Um, is it easy all the time? No, it's not easy. Some, A lot of the times, guys, I'm very transparent on my vlogs. So um, if you don't know, I do vlogs as well. And if you watch, you know, my videos, I talk about it all the time. Sometimes I come here to this apartment and it's quiet and I do, I do want a family. You know, I want to come back home to my husband, to my, you know, family and, and have, have someone to come to. But for so long, um, I've lived in a home where there was always somebody there. You know, my siblings were always there. My family was always there. For the first time, it's just me. It's just Twinkie. <laughs> it's just me and my dog. And um, I can I can totally use this time to be so wrapped up in depression and just allow myself to, to, to just fall by the wayside. I can use this time to just let it all go and just not better myself because no one's here to tell me to do anything. I can use my power of choice to to just not do anything yeah and active inactivity is also a choice too so if you wake up every day and you decide you you you're you don't make a decision for your life and you just it's just whatever whatever happens happens you are actually deciding to fail so um i had to realize you know what no one's going to tell me and no one's going to tell me to get up to think positive, to get my business done, get my stuff together, nobody. Um, so I gotta do this for myself, you know, I'm depending on myself here, as I depend on God, but I'm depending on myself. Um, I'm responsible for my dog, so I obviously have to get up. I can't just lay on the couch all day crying that I'm single all day. What good is that gonna do for me? Nothing. And it's not gonna do any good for you either. So. Like I said in the summertime when I was starting to feel a little down in the dumps 
every and and this works every time guys having a relationship with god and every day saying i'm going to enjoy my life i'm going to get up i'm going to trust god i'm going to enjoy my life and repeat <laughs> every day get up trust god enjoy my life get up trust god enjoy my life and it's not going to be easy at first when you you know when you just got your heart broken or you know you feeling you're in your feelings obviously it's not going to feel great in the very beginning but every day that you make that decision is every day that you become stronger. And I promise you, it gets a whole lot better. Um, and that's where I am right now. I have to keep reminding myself, even as I'm dating, um, just because I'm dating doesn't mean that, um, that all of those feelings like went out the window. No, because for me, I'm not a dating person. I'm more of a relationship person. I am not someone who likes to just go on different dates with different people I like to have that solid relationship with one person so for me dating is not secure it's not like sure ground for me so I am still pretty indecisive as to what's what in this stage as I'm getting to know people so I do have to still live like as if I am 100% single and still love myself still take you know love on myself and and take care of myself and not wait on anybody um, to make plans and whatnot for me um, yeah it's nice having options but you certainly don't want to put all your trust in that you know you want to have a foundation of self-love just in case things don't work out you know um <laughs> being a little open here i am dating three people well dating talking getting to know three people and it's like i just want that one person you know but it is it does, um, I am getting to know what I like uh, about each person and stuff like that. Um, and I don't know what my week has in store uh, and, and whatnot, but I know that before any of those three decide that they want to fall deep and heavy in love with me, I must fall in love with myself first. I can't wait on some man to come my way and sweep me off my feet and then finally be like Prince Charming and, and help me to forget all my woes about singlehood. No, like I said, there was a, a video, um, a sermon that I had seen. I don't, did I link it down below? I think I did. Um, and I'll link it down below in this video. But the pastor was talking about singleness and how it's so important to be happy with where you are as a single and really do single do your singleness the right way or you may be at risk for a, a divorce <laughs> and he was just running some great points um he said that uh, just to kind of repeat myself he said that divorce is not a problem you know as far as uh not so much of a problem um with money or or we just fell out of love or um incompatibility blah 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 but it's more of a problem with how we treat singleness and how we don't enjoy our singleness and take the time to get to know ourselves before attaching ourselves to others um so since then i i mean he has a whole playlist i have yet to finish watching all of it but since that video i really took the time to really be like you know what that's so true because you don't want to come into a, a relationship um still trying to find yourself and still trying to like you don't want to come in broken and looking for the other person to be like your kind of your savior you know you want to come with a, a foundational hope within yourself you want to come in you know where you're an asset and not a a, a, a liability you know what i'm saying um 
and that's where I am this year, 2018. I want to love myself, not for a relationship, but just for me. Not for, not looking towards an end goal, but just wanting to love myself. Uh, just feeling the, the, the need to do that. Um, so yeah, uh, I hope that you guys are enjoying your year this far and that if you are single that you are getting through um through well i mean hey this is 2018 anything can happen it's only february <laughs> anything can happen this year um for me i look to the brighter side of everything i'm so positive i try to stay positive you know every day is a new day filled with opportunity and potential of something amazing happening something great breaking forth some something changing you know in in my favor and every day um you guys have seen me but i i speak affirmations over my day i'm like you know what i may not feel like it but this is one of the best days of my life and i'm gonna something good is gonna happen to me and every day something great does happen you know just waking up with a hope and a desire to enjoy your life whether you are linked with someone or not that really helps you to kind of get out of your like hole and 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 enjoy and relish the season that you're in um surround obviously surrounding yourself with people that love and care for you friends that will um inspire you and motivate you not friends that will constantly remind you of you know the things that that like maybe you're missing out on something, taking some time for yourself and, and you know, people that, that will distract you or hinder you. You definitely don't want to surround yourself around those people, but people that motivate you, that push you to be a better you, that kind of correct you and check you when you need to be checked. Um, yeah, you need those type of people. You need um, community. For me, community I know that I often run from community um, because I don't know who I can really trust. Um, every time I did, well not every time, I can't say that, but the times that I did join community, it was met with like cattiness and just some stuff I just, I won't go into in this video. Um, but community is very important um, in whatever friendships that that motivate you and inspire you. Um, yeah, focusing on you, focusing on you, what you want out of life and just g going after that, putting all your energy into being a better you um, while you are single, while you're by, you know, by yourself and you're not attached to someone putting energy into elevating your worth your well not worth because you already have great worth in the sight of God but um, what I mean is increasing your quality the quality of your life um, increasing your quality whether that is reading more books listening to podcasts that really do matter and that feed your mind instead of distracting you or causing you to compare yourself you know watching what you feed your your spirit you know watching putting a guard over the things that you entertain whether it be what you watch here on youtube what you watch on tv um what you listen to the music guys sometimes i gotta put a pause on the 90s r b because child <laughs> sometimes they be getting you in your feelings i mean that is something about that music that time era get you all in your feelings and i know for me i'm a very sensitive person so sometimes certain types of songs will kind of like really catch me in my feelings and i know okay girl cut it out cut it out i'll put on some some something else to feed me feed my spirit and i feel 100 percent better again um, so, yeah, being mindful of what you entertain um, will help you get into a place where you are grateful again for your life and not comparing yourself. You'll find strength in the woman that you are or the man that you are if you're a man. <laughs> um, you'll, you'll find that you have strength that you didn't even know you 
even had. You'll tap into strength you didn't know you had because you are now in a place where you can get to know yourself a whole lot better. So, yeah. Be a rock star. <laughs> be the best that you can be. Be your own cheerleader. I'm learning that too. Like, you got to be your own cheerleader. You got to be the number one fan of your life wherever you are whether you are in the worst mess of your life right now you got everyone needs a cheerleader everyone needs a pep squad and if you can't find that with your friends and family and even if you have it with your friends and family be your own cheerleader cheerlead your way on out of that situation until you get out of that situation be your best cheerleader, even if you make mistakes, even if you're imperfect, wherever, like be your own cheerleader, because that is the way that you will make it through anything. Being a, being your own pep squad, motivating yourself. You know, the Bible talks about David had to encourage himself. Um... And I won't get into all the story because I don't know the whole story, but I'm just saying, giving you a little bit of, um, ooh, my hair looks cute, but giving you a little, um, example from the Bible, like, you have to encourage yourself, you have to, if you don't encourage yourself, you waiting on someone else to do it, nine times out of ten, that won't happen, because everyone's got their own issues, you know, everyone's got their own life, they don't know what you're dealing with like you do. Like I keep telling y'all, I write in my journal. So that's another thing that you can do if you are feeling, you know, down in the dumps and whatnot. Maybe you're trying to call your friends up and they ain't picking up and you feel like you have nobody to talk to. Get a journal. Write out your feelings. Write them all out raw. Don't edit. Don't edit anything about you know how you feel just write it out on paper don't even don't think about anybody this is your journal and no one has to see it you know so you can write out your raw feelings how you're feeling today you can talk to God you can talk to yourself you can you can do whatever you want you can talk to your ex on that paper you can do whatever you want just grab a journal before you get on social media and you start <laughs> throwing shade on statuses and stuff like that guys get off of social media get a journal get a journal it will save your life journaling I can't I can't say anything more about it because that has really helped me and it helps me even now you guys know I showed you my journal just the other day that helps me it helps me um to really recognize how I'm feeling because sometimes I don't even know why I'm feeling the things I'm feeling when I sit down and I actually reflect it is a like journaling is a form of meditation so when I sit down and I reflect I realize wait that's why that's why and sometimes um, I'll even look back on the things that I wrote you know a few weeks or months or years ago and I'll realize wow you know what if I was able to get through that back then, I can get through this now. <laughs> this is nothing compared to what I had to do with back then. You know, if God could do it back then, what makes me think I, he can't do it now? You know, if I was strong back then, what makes me think I can't be strong now? Um, you can track your growth while you're journaling and you'll really realize and come to appreciate the woman and or man that you are and say, you know what? I really am amazing and I'm not going to continue living life like I'm waiting on somebody to come along and tell me this. I know it for myself. I know that I can get through whatever. So um, those are just some little tips, you know, <laughs> thrown all over the place, guys. It's not a, a structured video. I really didn't even know I would be talking about um, the things I, I shared. But yeah, just an example, um, I was engaged years ago, I think this was 2010, 2011, I was engaged, I was only in my early 20s, and um, yeah, it was first guy that I dated that was a Christian, so I thought, okay, he's a Christian, I'm a Christian, this is bound to work, 
not all the time not all the time will you meet someone that is the same religion that it will just work like magic <laughs> and i feel like a lot of the times we think it will because of the success stories and testimonies that we hear online we're thinking oh well that's going to be my story no not always so um you know i thought that we were you know we were going to last because we're two Christians, but obviously everyone has their their faults and their flaws. I had my faults and flaws back then too. I'm not, you know, 100% innocent. 100% innocent. Um, but after that relationship failed, I had to say, you know what? After a while of mourning the loss of that relationship, I had to come to a point where I had to question myself and ask, okay, so am I going to live my life in a in, in a place where I am unhappy and dissatisfied every day with myself or am I going to pick myself up and learn from what I had to deal with and keep moving forward and so you know with the help of God every day I got up I would read the Bible like it was nobody's business I read it on the train I didn't care who saw me reading my Bible <laughs> I would bring that thing on the train and and just bury my face in it and that's when i started to journal and realize wait journaling is amazing and i i rem i reminded myself of how much i really like to write so writing was really healing and therapy back then and it still is now and if it can work for me it could work for you as well um so that's yeah sometimes when you're at your lowest you really start learning the things that um, your eyes start op opening up and you realize some things that you never realized before. And so um, it is a blessing to be in a place where, you know, I was heartbroken and I was really down and low. Um, it is a blessing to be single today um, because I'm learning. I'm still learning about <laughs> myself and still learning the amazing woman that god created me to be so yes guys i just say all of that to say um wherever you are in life today you can embrace it you can love it you can be your own pep squad right there in the middle of what you're where you are right now whether you are happy about where you are or not you can make the decision to be happy um, no one can make you unhappy if you don't choose to be. So you can pick yourself up and choose your own feelings for the day and go ahead and make it happen. <laughs> you really are the, cre God is the author, but you really are the person that sets, you are the one that can create, help create the story really and truly. If you decide in your mind that you want to have a crappy life and be forever crying and sing you know because you're single and you feel like you're all alone and things will never happen for you and why doesn't anyone buy me chocolates on valentine's day or a big bear and blah 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 you can be forever miserable whenever engagement season comes up or when you're invited to marriages um weddings and stuff you can you can choose to be miserable and bitter or you can choose to be better it's all your choice but um it's up to you and for me it's up to me that every day i decide that i'm going to get up and live my life and enjoy it to the fullest um even when i don't feel like it <laughs> so guys i'm i think i'm at, on my last braid right now but it feels good to see my hair again <laughs> i have had this hair locked up for a while it feels good to see it again yes Ooh. wait oh all right that was actually not the last one but here's what it looks like so far <laughs> and yeah i'm just gonna continue and just finish this up but um and then after this i'm gonna wash my hair so i will be showing you that as well this is like a full recording day for me um bringing you guys the content that you so deserve and that I love to share with you guys so 
yeah guys i hope that you enjoyed this sit down chit chat video thumbs it up if you did let me know your thoughts down below um where you are in life right now any success stories testimonies about how you got through your singleness and you know times where you felt um lost broken hearted whatever i'm sure people can really um learn from the things that you've gone through we all have gone through we all go through things um we're all like walking experiences and if your experience if you share your experience you can help someone else to live um and and to be able to live long enough to share their experience with others and it just continues you know so here's my hair guys <sighs> it's all done taken out and I'm very happy to finally see it but um, I'm excited to finally wash this thing so I'm just gonna leave this video right now let it let it stay right here you know what I'm saying but thank you for watching guys subscribe if you're not subscribed let me know if you have any topics that you are interested in me talking about and I would love to come on here and talk like I will talk all day if I could <laughs> but yeah guys let me know down below but Anyway, guys, I hope that you have a wonderful Valentine's Day in whatever way that you uh, enjoy it. Um, I know for me, I'll be working and maybe I don't know what I'll do, but really, um, I hope that you enjoy your day in whatever way. Know that you are loved. If no one else tells you that they love you, I love you. God loves you. You should love you <laughs> enough to stand up and say, you know, I have worth and value and I'm excited for where I am today. <laughs> so just know later on, you're going to look back at where you are right now and really be grateful for all that you have, pers per you have persevered through, you know. I'm talking to myself here right now because I know I need to remember this. So guys, anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.